<laughs> Hi, everyone. I hope you all had a great winter break. Um, it was nice to have off for some time to just relax and have fun. So today you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil and you might want some colors if you're going to color your picture when we're finished. So <clears throat> we're going to be drawing a winter landscape today and we're going to use something called perspective. So perspective is point of view, how things look to you. So if you <clears throat> Go outside and look as far as you can see. The things that are farthest away seem very small. Does that mean they shrunk? No. It just means because they're so far away, they look small to us. So the things in the background of our picture are going to be smaller, and the things in the foreground or front of our picture are going to be big. So we're going to start with a road. <clears throat> and it's going to be wider here because this is the foreground and it's going to get skinnier as we curve back around. Okay. So I'm just drawing a line. Actually, I think I'm going to have it go all the way over here. And then I'm going to have it wide here and then it's going to get skinnier the further along it goes. And then I'm going to do <clears throat> a dotted line in the middle so that it looks like a road. And even the lines should get smaller the further you go. So they start off kind of big and then they get smaller. All right, next I'm going to do some mountains in the background. So I'm just going to take and draw myself a horizon line from the road just to give me an idea of where I'm going to draw my mountains. And then I'm going to start with some upside down V's. So those mountains <clears throat> look smaller than regular mountains because they're far away. All right, now I'm going to do some trees. I'm going to do some pine trees. The ones I draw back here are going to be much smaller than the ones I draw up here. Okay, so I'm just using some little shapes. make my trees and you can draw as many as you want so now this one's a little bit closer so it's getting bigger. And then I'm going to draw one down here. It's going to be the biggest because it's the closest. Now we want to leave some space. I should have told you that. I want to leave some space here for a house. <clears throat> okay, so next I'm going to draw a snowman here 
but he's looking that direction. So it's a side, it's a side view of a snowman. and give him a winter hat. Just erasing some pencil lines. Okay, so his nose points that way because he's sideways. All right, now the house is going to be the trickiest part to draw. So I'm going to start with a square shape or a rectangle shape. And then I'm going to draw two lines that go back. They're kind of slanted. And then a line to connect them. that's the front and the side of the house. Now I'm going to make an upside down V to start the roof and I'm going to make it twice so it looks like that. Then I'm going to draw a line back from the point of the triangle shape and then down. And I might fix this line here. Okay, and then all I need to do is give my house a door, and I'm going to do some windows. Erase this pencil on here. And then you can add anything else you want to your picture. You can add more trees. You can add another snowman. Anything you would see in the winter. You can add an animal if you want to. Just remember, if it's close, it's bigger. If it's far away, it's small. And you can color your picture if you'd like. So since it's a winter scene, you can leave all of the space white because it could be snow. And then if you want your trees to show snow, you would just color the, like the inside part of it green and leave some of the outside part of it white so that it looks like snow is hanging on. And you can do the same with the mountains. You can draw the bottom parts green or brown I mean, color them, and then you can leave the tops white to show that they're covered with snow also. And like the roof of the house could be covered with snow. Oh, I know what we forgot. What I forgot. Chimney. We want a little chimney here. And we want to have some smoke coming out of it.
And you can make it look like bricks if you want. And then that's it. So you can color it if you want to. And I'll see you next time. Bye.